brand new tutorial and today we're going to be making a Christmas ornament out of your family's names and we're going to put them in the shape of a Christmas tree which sounds pretty basic so what I'm mostly going to do is give you some pointers so that you don't mess it up but you know what sometimes that happens and we're going to fix it anyway so we're going to start with the star which you get down here in the basic shapes Mine's highlighted yellow because it's one of my favorite shapes. We are going to rotate this. Let me zoom in here, right there. And it's gonna go negative 17. How do I know this? Because I did it just like five minutes ago. Negative 17 is how we're gonna get that to be straight. There we go. And the height is gonna be five. Perfect. In fact, every time we put something down here, it's going to be a, a height of five. Be aware of that, please. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, the text and it's very important that you use this text, the font of multi-language. And the reason I say that is because we're gonna take advantage of the fact that it is flat on top and it's gonna be very helpful when with our overall look. And did I make this five already? I did not, so five it is. Okay, now, let me change this text by clicking over here and I'll write my name. My first name is Adrian. Wow. I forgot one more thing. All of your names are going to be written in capital. So Adrian and why? Because when you write in capital, you'll see that you'll go all the way to the top before it was Adrian. And then the D went to the top, but the R didn't, the I didn't, the A didn't didn't and neither did the end. We need all the letters to go to all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom every single time. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right there. I'm going to make sure that it's not just touching the star, but it is very, uh, very close to it. In fact, let's zoom in here so you can see how close it is. Okay, so you want to make sure that the letters are touching the star. Great. Now I'm going to put my wife's name. I'm going to first of all duplicate this and then just scroll down right here. And her name is Jacqueline, J-A-C-Q-U-L-I-N-E. Whoa, that is a long name. So again, I'm just going to move this up. And here, I think you can see that the letters are actually touching each other. I want to get a little more control over this. So I'm going to change down here the snap grid to 0.1. And I'm going to just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it up and down. And I'm fine with that. That's fine right now. By the way, this is not going to be our final draft. I'm just, you know, trying to organize it for you because I know a lot of you are going to go through this and you're going to be like, wow, this doesn't fit. Just like mine is not going to fit at first, but I want you to see what I do to fix it. That's the important part, how to fix it. All right, then I'm going to put my, I'm going to duplicate this control D or you can click this up here. And I'm gonna hit shift and then move this down and change the name here to Santiago, which is our son's older son's name. There you go. And that's about right. Cause you can still tell that it's the name, even though that cue's in the way, it's fine. Again, I'm gonna duplicate that and look at that. Tinkercad thinks, oh, I think I figured out the pattern. I'm gonna move it pretty low right there. And our youngest or younger son's name is Sebastian. All right, that does not look like a Christmas tree. If you didn't notice, if we had to go in order, uh, Jacqueline would go at the bottom in terms of, you know, how uh, wide the names are. And then I would just select everything and drag it up. And there you go, right? You think, hey, we're done here, but no, this does not look like a Christmas tree. I am gonna add one more thing. I'm gonna duplicate Jacqueline and drag it down. Of course, I'm using the shift. I'm gonna uh, double click on the name and then put 2022. All right, well, there we go. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can see, and I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move it down. And there you go. It looks a little bit like a Christmas tree, but not really. You'd have to really stretch your imagination 
but instead of stretching it, we're going to shrink this name. But here's the way I would like you to try to get this because it's a lot easier. I've done about four or five of these already, and I think I figured out a certain pattern that makes it easier for everyone. So I'm going to drag this a little bit higher. All right. So first of all, my name, too wide. One of the things that is very important is that you make a triangular shape with the names because that's the whole point of the Christmas tree is to make it look like that. And a Christmas tree by nature looks like a triangle. Another important uh, factor or thing to consider is the spelling of the names. If you don't know how to spell your family's name, which is okay because, hey, we just call them you. Hey, you, come over here or something like that. You don't have to spell their names to talk to them. So find out what their actual spelling is because it's going to make a difference. I can almost guarantee you if you misspell a name and you print this and you give it to your family without fixing it, they're going to laugh, which is pretty sad since you worked so hard for this. So get the name right. Let's see. Also, don't feel any pressure to include all of the people in your family. Maybe you want to include the dog. You can include the dog. Maybe you just want to include your best friend in there too. Hey, it's your design. Go ahead and put whatever name you want on there, just the people you love, and we'll call that your family. So let's go ahead and get started to making this look more like a tree. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the top, click on the corner here, and I see that it is 115 millimeters wide. Whoa, that is way too wide. It doesn't look like anything here. So I am going to change this to 80. I'm going to take a look at it. And from what I see, it is not bad, but I think I can do better. In fact, what I'm going to do now, I have not done before, but I'm going to try it here because I think it, it would work. I'm going to change this right here. You don't have to do this part. You don't, but I want it. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and then I'm going to drag, well, oh, wrong button. I'm going to make a, a triangle here and let's uh, zoom out a little bit. There you go. Because I want it to look a little bit like that. And when you have the triangle, it kind of helps to see uh, what it should look like. I'm going to click the letter D. That way the triangle is definitely down all the way. And I'm going to make that a one. And just so I can have a better idea, I'm going to click the letter T. That way I can see through it too. Okay. So I'm going to move that over. Okay. That gives me a better idea of what it should look like, but it's not going to align perfectly, but I do want it, the idea there. So based on this, Adrian, the first name, I'm going to try 70 and let's see what that looks like. All right. Well, that's not bad. Okay. So now because I chose this one, the first one is 70, I'm going to make the next one 80. And just, just as I think by now you should know what the pattern is. What's the next one going to be 90. Good job. And the last one, you guessed it. 100. If you didn't see the pattern, I'm going by tens. I'm increasing it. Now this one, you can change it to whatever you want. You just want it to make it look like, you know, it's the tree trunk and it should be less than this one. Since this one here, we had 70. Uh, I'm going to say 50. Let's try 50. Let's see what that looks like. No, nah, too much, too wide. I'm going to go 40. That still might be fine. Okay, so here, check this out. This is your shortcut for making it look better. I'm gonna select everything. Okay, selected everything. If you didn't see that, I'm gonna click and drag over everything. If I wanted to, I just could control A and they would do the same thing. Now I'm gonna use the align tool. I'm gonna click on this and everything's going to be aligned right there. There you go, right? That looks like it's done, but it's not. You cannot just say, hey, I'm done. It does look triangular, right? You get it? You see that? It looks good. But here's the thing. When you print this, you need to make sure of one thing, that the letters are connected to each other. Right now, if I were to print this, do you can you tell by looking at this what 
is going to fall off, I can tell right away. It's the star. Why? Because it's now no longer touching anything. But we can fix that pretty easily. I'm going to move it down with the arrow key. Now it's touching the I. Now it's touching the R. That should work, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select everything and then just drag that up a little bit so I can see it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to trace to see where everything is touching. The D is touching the N, and the N is not necessarily touching the R, and that's okay. The A is touching this A and the S. So I know these right here are all connected. These are all connected. Oh, the D is connected to the N, but is connected to the A through that letter. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try to zoom out so we can see everything here. And let's try to make it the center of our picture. And let's zoom in so we can see all the connections here. When I first made this one, I forgot to check to see if all the letters in, uh, were connected. And so when I printed it, I noticed that the N, the G, the O, the A, the N, and the I and E over here weren't connected to anything. So I pulled it off the printing bed and that part stayed on the printing bed. Everything else came off except for this because it was attached to nothing. Now, the hardest ones to, to make sure they're connected are the ones at the very end. Now, if you look at this one right here, that J will break off pretty easily because it's connected just slightly. Whereas the S is connected a little on the top and a little at the bottom. So the S is gonna stay. That S is gonna stay, that A is gonna stay. That's good, but that J will fall off. Let's look over here on this side. The N is connected to the E, connected to the O, to the N. Now this A is connected to the N and the G, which means now all of those are connected to at least one other letter. That one's connected to the A, A. Oh, did I find something? I think I did. Okay, let's look over here. I'm gonna to try to zoom in here. And let me move it over so you guys can see this a little bit better. Okay, check this out. These two letters at the end of, of all the names are all connected pretty well, but not very well to the other parts of the of the names. So I've got to look carefully because this A on top is connecting everything on this side to everything on that side. That means there's going to be a lot of pressure on that A to break off. So let's see right here. Let's see if I can zoom in here. That G may or may not be touching. And it looks like it's underneath the bed. So I'm going to select everything and make sure. To, oh, it's not beneath the bed. It, that's the tree, the triangle that we put underneath. I think we're good with the triangle. So I'm going to get rid of it because I think we achieved our goal of being triangular. I'm going to click F and look over here. So. My goal now is to make sure that these letters are actually touching each other just a little bit better. So one way I can do that is by shrinking one of the letters. I'm gonna go with the bottom one. I'm gonna shrink that a little bit. So it's at 100. Let me put it at 98 and see how that changes anything. Uh, if you noticed, it shrank in this direction, which means it is off center. So I'm gonna select everything again, hit the align tool and make sure it is centered again. It moved, did you see that? It moved, okay. Now that J has a stronger connection. I know it's not touching over here. So that J is only connected here. I'm not sure I like that. Let's look over here. Okay, the I, ooh, is barely connected to that G. Still not strong. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do now. At this point, I'm gonna introduce a cheat. So don't tell anyone this is definitely a cheat. I'm gonna force a connection here. Okay, so first of all, the height is gonna be five. I'm gonna create a little tiny block. Don't tell anyone about this because then there, the illusion is gonna be gone. This block needs to look like it belongs inside of here. And I think it needs to be a little bit uh, thinner. So I'm gonna put three. That's not bad. So I'm gonna force, oops, I'm gonna force this connection right here. Whoa, that's way too big. Let's put it one, I think it looks like a one. Oh, that looks much better. All right, so this one you can 
make it look as good as you want, but I'm going to put that right there. And I want you to see what, what I did here. Can you really tell? You can't really, because all these are creating lines everywhere. So it looks perfectly natural. So I'm going to take that same one. I'm going to duplicate it. Use the arrow key to move it out of the way. Otherwise, if you use the, the mouse to move it, it, it can get crazy. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to click F and then away. And then I'm going to use the arrow key again. Whoa, that is super slow. Why is it going so slow? I'm going to zoom in, make it go faster. And then F over here and we're almost there. Ah, see, now I got to use the arrow key. We're going to force the connection over here with the letter J. I know sometimes this works out perfectly and other times you just have to force this. In this case, we're forcing it. All right, so this is the letter J. I'm going to zoom out in a little bit. That way you can see what we're actually doing here. Okay, F, there it is. Now, the reason that you cannot just click uh, five, three, and one is because when you reorganize these letters, your thickness of the bottom of the letters are gonna be a little bit different. So you're gonna have to look at it, but the only one that you know that it's gonna be is definitely gonna be a height of five. It's gonna be a height of five. So right there, we connected the J and no one will ever know. But you know what? That A looks like it's barely hanging on. Let's give it a little help. So I'm gonna make that eight. Now that A and the J, very strong connection here. The C is connected, the O is connected, but look at this space right here. I'm a little nervous now. Okay, so I know that the N is connected to both of them. I'm gonna help out that letter B right there with the connection, so I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna duplicate it. I hit Control D. You could have clicked over here, but I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit to make it stronger. Oh, move it right there. Now, when you print this, again, you're not going to be able to tell. All right, let's see. I'm going to move that a little bit higher. I think we're good. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. The order of the names may or may not matter. It really depends on, on your family. If you think that the dad should be on top or maybe the dad's name should be on the bottom, hey, it's up to you. Now, if you feel like someone's going to be upset because their name is not in a certain location, you can make changes. It, again, this is your design. So you can change it however you like and put whoever's name in whichever order you like. Okay, do you notice that the, tw the, the date or the year moved right now? If I were to select everything at this point and then hit a line, those little cheats that we added would be in the center and would not connect where we want it to connect. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to select everything where I know there's not, oops, no, that's not true, where there is no cheat. That way everything is still aligned. Check this out. When I hit the align tool, this happens, right? I'm going to click on the star one time. That means everything that's not aligned with the star is going to move to the star and nothing else will move. In this case, the only thing I want to move is the, the year. So there you go. We've made our tree. Actually, I'm missing one more part. My mistake, because we want to hang this. Maybe you want to hang it on a tree or maybe somewhere. We're just going to put a little hole in that star. So that way, if you want to hang it somewhere, it's great. Go ahead. Now, very important when you're making some a hole in something, make sure there's enough space here so it doesn't break off. This looks like a good spot. What I did was eight, and hopefully it's eight by eight. Oh, close. But now it's eight by eight. All right, let me uh, zoom out a little bit. All right, well, there we go. I'm going to group those two. And that looks good. I'm going to hit uh, Control A because now I'm going to group everything. And there we go. Maybe I should have made, maybe I'll just do, I don't know. Let's look over here. There, it's all red. And of course, you're going to print it whatever color you like, and that's fine. Um, if you happen to print this and it doesn't come out the way you like because like maybe there's a letter that you accidentally forgot to check and it just came out fix it adjust adjust the the width 
course, you have to un undo this, adjust the width, you know, play with it, but also check those little cheats that I just showed you. That way, it, you know, it works even after you fix it the other time. So thanks for checking this out and be on the lookout for more Christmas related stuff. All right, have a good one and enjoy.